Part of this place has been the book that falls on your head or the book that you just stumble over is the one that you didn't know you wanted. And that's one of the things I love about this place. I'm Natalie Gould. Um, I'm now the um, person who runs Gould's Bookshop. I mean, I know we're going to move. Other people are not so confident, but I do. Having said that, I think it's sadder for Newtown than us. People come here and they don't buy books. They come here and they spend hours looking in the joint and actually enjoying themselves, but they don't necessarily have to spend any money. And, and that's a problem for us, but it's actually a good thing for the community. In a metre of shelving, there's about 40 to 50 books. <laughs> and we've got a hell of a lot more than you know, a um, hundred metres of books in here, so I'd say a million and a half. Bob wanted to have more books than anybody else on the planet. Before the bookshop existed, he used to bring books home. Often he would bring books home instead of the mortgage payments. <laughs> He's not just a, a hoarder, he, look, he was the most avid reader of books and he was the most opinionated bloke around and, and mostly his, his, his politics was pretty good. I was involved in political activities. Becoming a bookseller was just a sort of extension of that. Now Australians are fighting close to home in South Vietnam as Australia meets her treaty obligations. But there are some who believe Australia should not be there. I was about, I think, six when it, um, resistance started and it was the third, third World Bookshop and it was the organ of resistance which was organising against the Vietnam War and conscription for the Vietnam War. Young, energetic, enthusiastic, incredible people who were trying to change the world. Today has been Police Crackdown Day on the book Port Noise Complaint in Sydney. This was the scene when they raided the Third World Bookshop, owned by well-known Sydney radical Mr Bob Gould. The stuff that was banned by today's standards is so left. You know, posters of the Statue of David. At, at some stage, um, the organisation split. Bob ended up with the books in the building. When it moved to George Street, that's when it became Gould's Book Arcade. Oh, Bob ran out up until the day he died. Bob had always opened on Christmas Day. He'd opened every day of the year. It was kind of significant that we still opened on both the day he died and the day he was buried. There's been an outpouring of, of affection for this place and I think that will follow us. It's really quite lovely the way people have been coming in with their children and their grandchildren. It's, it's a place where a lot of people have grown up, not just me. It's the bookshop they came into, it's a, book, it's a place of wonder when they were young kids. I'm hoping I'll have another 30 years around running a bookshop and um, what happens in 30 years? Eh, I'll worry about that later.